Hello everyone, and welcome back to All The Mods 6. In the last episode, um, we went ahead, and I'm using like my tool belt now, so we, we, we can do things a little bit faster. We made this system. It, it, it's a little bit scary, um, because it's a, lot, it's a lot more complicated than it needed to be. But essentially, this guy changes the type of lens that we have in our Void Miner. So, for instance, um, if I want to switch to a light blue lens, I can click that, and we're going to get a light blue lens. It, it, it does the system itself. Um, the light blue lens, for instance, was in this chest. It's no longer there. We currently have a red one set up and a brown one. Um, so that's pretty neat. Um, I think I want it to still be on red, though, because that's getting us our redstone, um, do, 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 which we we have a fair bit of. It, a fair bit of. Um, we, we probably need some more because there was something I wanted to craft, which I now don't remember what it was. Oh, yes, the infinite um, storage part. Can we craft this now? No. We still need more redstone. We need a lot more nether quartz and then some more string still. Hmm. Okay, well, I, I guess that can wait for now. That that can still wait. I I don't know. I'm, I'm a bit skeptical because I feel like surely this guy should have gotten enough uh, redstone. Oh. He, um, he has nothing in him at the moment. Hmm. That's... That's not good. <laughs> that means our system might not be working. Oh god, hopefully this doesn't become the whole episode. I I, I do have a plan for this episode. We're going to be trying to knock off a few more ingredients for this ATM star. We'll, we'll see how well that goes. But that's that's the plan. So the red guy is still in here. The light blue is there and the brown is there. Um, Is everything still configured the way it was? It is. I, I'm sure it's suddenly broken now because that's what usually happens with uh, things that I make. We know it works, by the way. If this light turns on. Um, but it's not turning on, which means something's not working. So I guess I'll uh, experiment a little bit. Okay, you'll be happy to know this time around, um, we needed to take off the repeater. How cool is that? That, that? That's a really cool feature. The fact that sometimes we need a repeater and sometimes we don't. Uh, I, I like redstone. Redstone is fun. So anyway, now it should be working. God, I, I despise all that is Minecraft. <laughs> okay, so... This should not th that means it's possible that- it no, I think it was on before. Because, like, I, I feel like we should be getting a lot more redstone, especially considering, if this guy wants to open, um, just how much we get. It's like a 20%- what is this? Dragon fruit. That's pretty cool. But yeah, we should be getting this at a 21-22% um, rate, so that's pretty good. We, like, we genuinely should be getting a lot of redstone from this. Um, if we look here- you know what? We actually are. We're already getting an insane amount. I feel like it wasn't working before then. Because I feel like we should have way more than we currently do. Um, okay, well, well, that's fine. Well, actually, I should look through real quick. I'll do this off camera to see if we have uh, nether quartz in here. Um, sure enough, we do. Beautiful. Um, so we'll have to figure out what uh, colored lens that needs once we get all the redstone that we need. Okay, beautiful. Nice. Um, so let's go ahead and actually get started on all of this uh, all of this star shabazzam and, and whatnot. So we now have chaos shards, which means we should be able to craft everything that is this guy. Um, so I guess I'll start making the recipes for this. I'm not sure how, I guess, um, eventful this episode will be, but if we can knock this off, I, that's good enough for me. Uh, a lot of this genuinely is just going to be, um, like, uh, getting patterns for stuff. Um, so, yeah. Okay, I have all the patterns. There will be some manual, somewhat manual stuff that we'll have to do. Um, but I think for the most part, we can chuck all of that in there. And this. These two are brewing processing uh, patterns. And this guy is a smelting processing pattern. So that should be easy enough to put in. We should literally just be able to come over here and... Wait. <laughs> where, where is our thing? Our um, furnace. Oh yeah, sorry. It's up here. Um, so we can chuck that in there. Beautiful. Um, as for the brewing, we have a few options. One option is not this. Because we've currently got this set up automatically. Um... Not this either. Now, I, I actually had something over by the donator area. Um, by this guy, the suggestion board, which I also moved out, like, a Chaos Guardian thing over there, because we've done that. Um, there was something here, some sort of potion thing. Um, which one was it? Automate potions with the alchemical imbuer. Alchemical imbuer. This guy here from Thermal. Um, he's a bit weird. You apparently have water in him, then you put some sort of ingredient, so like, you know, glistering melon, and that'll make a mundane potion. 
Then you put the mundane potion back into this chemical imbuer with another ingredient, and it creates the spell. I, I honestly, I, I like the sound of that, because I think we can use that to automate. I think. I... Hmm. Oh, I, I feel like a lot of the stuff we probably could automate, but this one seems to be a lot simpler to automate. My plan is, we're probably going to have to set up a pulsing, um, like a redstone pulse situation. Well, let's see, our chemical imbuer, can we... Well, we could probably just craft it manually, can't we? What are these? Constantin... Constantin gears. Um, we're probably going to need patterns for this Constantin. This Constantin that we do not have. Constantin. How do we get it? Um, honestly, this recipe... Oh, no. Probably not that recipe. Um, or do we have to do that? We have to get the dust, I think. Oh, no. We can actually put it in here. So we can get copper and we can get nickel. And we can place it in there. Now, I've also been told that we can click on these and we can set alternatives. So... Uh, do I really have to go through and, like, look at every single thing? Hmm. <laughs> um, I'm a little bit confused as to what I'm looking at. Ideally, I just want to put all different types of copper in here. But, of course, these things are not in um, alpha... Uh, uh, alpha uh, uh, I can't even speak. Alphabetical order. Oh, but here we go. Here's all the coppers. So, I want this copper. Oh. Do I have to just tick the box? Do I do that? Huh. That's a bit weird. I'm going to be honest. That's a little bit weird. Could I have just ticked this box? Let's do forge ingots. That seems a bit better. And click apply. And set. Nickel ingot. I think that's fine. I don't know if this is going to work. Uses items from forge ingots for copper ingots. I'm I'm very curious. Uh, do we have the induction smelter over here? Uh, pulverizer, multi servo press. It doesn't look like it. I'll see if we even have an induction smelter because I, I, I don't really know if we do. Um, we is this it? I think this is it. It's not showing up. Induction smelter. Okay, we do have it. It's just not bound to anything currently. Maybe. Alright, so, so I was a little bit worried that our system had broken over here, but these were the leftover entangled blocks from our previous um, inscriber system that we replaced with the lazier AE2 um, circuit etcher. So, I should be able to pick up these. This is air. This is also air. There we go. And place our multi-server press, which I don't think it's any at the moment. I think I can place this here and then right-click this. And there we go. Induction smelter. Beautiful. I think I said multi-server press. I did not mean that. Alright, so inside this guy, I should be able to place this pattern. I'm still not entirely sure if it's going to work, but w I guess we'll find out. Um, I'll get an importer. We'll slap this guy at the bottom, and then that should be good. Th this guy, I mean, should be good to go. I should be able to search constant tin, and let's get, I don't know, 30 of it. Why not? Did it just say it's going to put gold in there? That's what I thought it might do with the alternatives. Um... I don't understand why they couldn't just have that same exact button that they have for normal recipes uh, for the pattern. In fact, it didn't even put anything in here. It did it. Oh, I've got to set this to input and this to output. Look at this. It put nickel and gold in there. Why? Uh, like, I know why, but the thing is, why can't I just have it put every type of copper in there? Why do I need a... Uh, I'm annoyed. A and the server's, like, lagging its mind off because there's, like, seven people online. Okay, okay. So, here's where we are. We're right here. These copper ingots, I tried to set the alternative for copper ingots. I don't know how to do that. I don't know how to set it for just copper ingots. In fact, is this now not toggled anymore? Blacksmithing? We scroll down. Then we have mine colonies reducible, whatever that means. Then we have, if we ever reach the bottom of this one. Then we have mine colony sawmill, which has a bunch of stuff here. Mine colony ingots copper. Okay, so it is here. The problem is that this like this thing is not ordered in the best way possible. And on top of that, I really have to scroll through this entire thing and find specifically what I'm after. That that just seems that seems silly. This needs to be look like I don't need to see every single nugget. I, I, I don't need to see every single nugget in every single one of these categories. All I need to see are the names. 
if I had a list of names and saw forge ingots copper, I can click on that and then see, oh yeah, this has all the copper ingots. I want that one. I don't need to scroll through all these types of stones and whatnot. All I need to know is like, oh, mine colony sawmill. That's probably not what I'm after for this specific situation. So I'm not going to click on it and then scroll through a list of all these items. Like, am I crazy? A drop-down menu is that hard? Or is or is my idea just horrible? This seems ridiculous. Like, look at this. Look at this one right here. Look at how much I'm scrolling just to go through it. And the problem is, if you do this, it goes too fast. Like, I can't tell. Like, just then, I went past it, like, three times. Like... I, I don't know. That, that's, that, that is extremely silly in my opinion. I didn't even click apply, did I? Oh, I'm going to lose my mind. Because now i got to find it again. Where was it? Okay, we've updated it. Uses items from forge ingots slash copper for copper ingot. Beautiful. That is what we want. Um, this other one... Uh, ooh, what's going on? My inventory is being a bit laggy. That, that should be fine, though. Um, the other thing we want, though, is probably this recipe here. Um... I was going to put it into our multi-servo press, but I mean, this just uses an iron nugget. That's that's a pretty good recipe. I, I don't mind using that one. Um, okay. Okay. We should be we should be back in action. Let me go and slap this guy back down. You know what? We have forgotten something else. We need to put in our upgrades. So our Enderium, whatever it's called, and the other thing. It's called a um, Resonant Integral Components, by the way. Just to, just to recap there. Okay. So... Um, I should be able to make these gears. Don't remember how many it was, but I think we want two of these anyway, so pretty much that. We're going to need two brewing stands, and then two of what? The rest of this stuff. Okay, here we are. Alchemical Imbuer. We now have two of them. Um, I probably can't just place them here. I mean, like, like I, pro I probably could, but um, they probably won't go there. We'll probably just set them up directly over at our um, crafting area, I think. Also, this is what happens when it's laggy. I wonder if putting a bunch of blocks... Oh, oh my god. A bunch of blocks under the ground here will stop that, like, glitching through the floor thing. Um, but I don't know. We'll have to see. So, we have, what? In Alchemical imbuers. I'm going to go up here. I'm going to place um, them like so, I believe. I'm hoping having them right next to each other will work. Worst case, we can... Inta in fact, you know what? We might as well keep our entangled theme up and place these entangled blocks like so. Place our alchemical viewers like here and here, I guess. Um, how exactly do I want to do this? Do we want it like when we request one recipe, it... Mm, uh, mm, uh. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I think we might even want three of these. Because... Um, da -da 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 -da. I believe like we can make a mundane potion. We can make... I think it, there's an awkward potion, right? So you can make... What's this showing? This is showing... Oh, um... Alright, so, so this should show us. I've, so I've filtered for water. So, there's mundane potions. Yep, lots of mundane potions. There's a thick potion that you can make. There's awkward potions. And apparently you can just make a potion of weakness right out the gate. Um, so yeah, mundane, awkward, and then that, that random thick one. What, what's the thick potion even used for? Um, night vision, night vision... Invisibility. Uh, I, it looks like it does just about everything. What? But I searched for what does a thick potion do, and it's giving me these other weird things. Um, maybe we just need uh three. All right, so we've got three now. Um, da -da 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 -da. what do I want to do here? In fact, what am I? I'm very confused as to like what my thought process is here. Do we want it to be here, and then we do it over there? I, I guess. Um, let's go ahead and grab our crafter. Um, we'll, I guess, have two for now. So these are going to go here and here, and then I'll pull out my trusty wrench. I also went ahead and got a dank, uh, here that has all of my cables in it. So I can shift click and then just have a cable on demand. And I've got a bunch of, I'll, I'll show you what I have in here. Um, I've got a bunch of these things. So logic cables, item pipes, all of that kind of stuff in this, uh, little dank that I keep in my tool belt. So it's sort of like on demand. It's pretty cool. Um, all right, these are set up. We want to make sure that they're entangled, so I'll grab my entangler out. Um, entangle you. I don't know if they have to face the right way, but I like to be standing, like, at the front when I do it, because they do, like, have specific sides to them. Um, so we'll do this here. I don't have the third set up, but we might not even need to set the third up um, for what we're doing, at least. Um, the next thing I want to do 
is, well, well, I sort of have, I have some of the patterns here. Um, how do I want to do this? Yeah, I really don't know. Ooh, you know what? So, so we need to make these potions of ancient knowledge, right? And it's a bottle of enchanting with awkward potions. That doesn't show up in the imbuer. Like, th there's no potion liquid for that from what I can tell. I still want to give it a shot, though. So an awkward potion is what? A nether wart into a water bottle. So do we have nether warts? We do. We do. Nether wart is going to... Um, here, let's... <laughs> what am I doing? Awkward potion. Oh, awkward. Is this not synced? Why is this not synced? I swear that it changes every time. Awkward potion. Um, see, it doesn't show, like, the recipe in... I'm very confused by this alchemical imbuer. It's it's like a mystery. It's not linked up with any of the other recipes. Um, I think what I want to do, though, is... I guess hunt down the recipe in here. You know what? Look at this. It, it does have the potion of ancient knowledge. I just need to... I'll have to figure out how to actually get this liquid into the bottle. Very interesting. Yeah, th this seems really good, but... JEI just doesn't want a scent of it. I also can't even find the one thing I'm looking for. Oh, it's right here. <laughs> All right, we're going to place this recipe in. This will include the water. So I think that's actually pretty good. We're going to grab a pattern out of here, just any old pattern, because they're all broken ones anyway. Um, so this is for an awkward potion. I'm going to place it here on the left. That's going to go over to this guy, which apparently we're going to need some flux points. You know what I should do? I should grab these flux points and place them into that um, into this dank. That's what I should do. So now we have flux points on demand. And then we also have cables on demand. How neat's that? Um, so, we'll hook this up. That should be good. These guys all have power. We'll um, chuck in, you know, all the upgrades later. Um, I'm surprised at how little power is coming through here. Is that because of my network? Or is that just... Input, output. Oh. It is looking like we've barely got enough power. Really? I... Almost don't believe that. So I feel like what could be happening is... Um, what's this guy? This guy's fine. This guy's good. 900,000. Well, I guess... Yeah, we currently do have it set up, so it only takes what it needs, right? What's our maximum output on this? Okay, we can do a lot more. Okay. I, I think it's working. I, I think I just... Uh, I lost track there. Um, so this is hooked up to make Orchid Potion. Then what I want to do is alter this recipe to be for the knowledge liquid, which I guess I'm going to have to look through here for. I think it was near the end pages. All right, so here we go. Awkward potion, bottle of enchanting, potion of ancient knowledge. We're going to click that in there. Um, so that should include awkward potion to potion of ancient knowledge. Beautiful. Once again, we'll grab another pattern to slap in there. Update this. Beautiful. So this guy is then going to go... I mean, ideally, they can go into the one thing. Like, this should be fine, I think. We could set it up so that it pulses. Should we do that? I, I feel like we should, but we'll leave it for now, because it, it might just be fine as it is. And if we don't have to do that extra work, I mean, hey, we might as well not. Um, so then from here, I think we need to go... Um, well, 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 for, wait, wait, first of all, we need Charm of Knowledge too. So... What we actually have to do is go ahead and grab the upgraded version, which is going to be right here. So this is Potion of Ancient Knowledge plus Bottle of Enchanting equals Potion of Ancient Knowledge. Um, so that should be updated. We'll double check in a second. Like that there. Click this. Yep. One to one. Beautiful. Perfect. So this guy, I guess, once again, can go on the same thing. And then from there, we want to get this Potion of Ancient Knowledge, which, by the way, doesn't show up in here. It, it just doesn't show up. We get potion, and we get this potion. I, I do not understand at all how this works. Chemical Imbuer creates potion from COFH Core. All of these, including possibly, let's just double check. We'll see if it's categorized as the same thing. Um, potion of Ancient Knowledge 2 does show up when I look for this um, potion category here. So I think that's what it counts as. So I think... What we can do is search, for example, um, Bottle of Enchanting, right, in the Fluid Encapsulator. This uses 250, like that. We can paste this recipe in, get rid of this essence, instead put the liquid for potion. So it's going to be this one here, 
from COFH Core. We're going to place this in. We're going to change it so that it is 250. So a quarter, like, um, oh, did that not want to work? There we go. We're going to click set. I think, we, what, what would the alternative show? No, I don't think any of that matters. Um, we want to go back to items, get rid of this bottle of enchanting, and actually change this to be the Ancient Knowledge 2. Potion of Ancient Knowledge 2. This guy's going to go right there. This might work. Maybe. And then this recipe is going to have to actually go all the way back to Fluid Town, which we still don't actually have a portal for. We need a few more portals. We need a portal for Fluid Town, possibly a portal for the dragons, and then a portal... Um, there was something else. I can't think of it right now, but... Oh, the, the actual crafting area that we have now. So, Fluid Encapsulator. Let's chuck in Potion of Ancient Knowledge. Okay. Another thing I've just realized is we left another pattern back at the base. The pattern for the um, enchantment bottles. We put that in a, in a crafter instead of in the encapsulator. Yeah, so this guy right here should not be in there. That should be over in the fluid encapsulator, which honestly, I probably should move back over here. I'll probably end up doing that off camera though, because that's going to be just a little bit boring and annoying. But, but I, I really do need to move this uh, encapsulator. Fluid town. Honestly, it should remain on the outskirts. We shouldn't need to go here too often. Um, although today we are. <laughs> okay, so that craft is full as well. That's a little bit scary. Um, while we're here, we... Well, well, actually, wait, wait. Don't we have now an infinite fluid storage cell? Where do we put that? Where do we put the infinite... Hold on. Because I know we made one. These are all 64. That's 64. That's 64, 64. Where do we put it? I know it exists, but I don't remember where we put it. Fluid storage. Where did we... Where did that go? Wait, was it used in a recipe? And or, because I don't see it here, was it a part of a quest for refined storage? Was there an infinite fluid storage thing that I had to make? I don't particularly see it here. Why did we make that? Alright, I looked here because I thought it might have been here, but I'm thinking now that it might actually be by the, the B area. So, let's check that out. The laggy answer is actually no. It's not... There's no infinite fluid here. I swear we made one, which means I don't know what happened to it. Um, yeah, I, I, I have not a clue. I, I guess we'll make another infinite storage? Can we even make an infinite fluid? And if we can make an infinite fluid, why can't we make an infinite uh, storage cell? That's that's going to be the question of the day here. Infinite. So the storage part, we still cannot make. We have enough redstone though, so I should actually change it to get uh, nether quartz. Uh, the infinite fluid, we can already make. It Look, it does not use much stuff at all. I might have to look through the um that recipe again for the storage, because I feel like this should not be as easy as it appears to be. Alright, I think an important recipe we can change is this one right here. This is for processor binding. Um, it currently uses pink slime and flax string. Um, I think it currently does mix and match because it's just a normal recipe. It's not set to exact. Um, oh, I did not want to do that. But, um, regardless, don't we have a bunch of slime coming in? What? Are, what? Why am I constantly confused? Do we not have slime? We have slimy honeycomb and it hasn't been processed. Okay, hold the phone. Um, let's get back here. I, I I mean, the recipe is still the same, but we might as well... Uh, you know what? No, we, we are going to change it. Because by default, what it's doing is it's asking for pink slime. It's like, hey, I, I need pink slime. Why can't I click that? Um, What we want it to do is be asking for slime balls. Because then we get a more accurate um question. Same with this string. Can we just get, like, normal string in this recipe? Just, just so that when we request it, it tells us exactly what we need. It doesn't have to be exact, but just so that when we ask for it, it's not sending us all these mixed messages. I also do not know where... Here one. Okay. So now if I ask for an infinite... um, oh, An infinite da -da -da, storage part, it should tell us... It's still telling us we need a flax, but it should also not be telling us that we need slime. What's the slime for? Because all of these raw processes, that's what's... I, I believe that's what's asking for all the slime. But they require um, processor bindings, and that's where the slime is actually coming from. But now we've just changed it, unless we have two recipes for this uh, processor binding. 
I don't think we do, but yeah, it's it's possible. You know what? I, I guess I didn't update it. It still says um, that it needs pink slime. Did I really not? Look, you know what? Let's just create a brand new pattern here and put this other pattern away. Process of binding. Why, why do you still say pink slime? What? What on earth is happening? You know what? I'm, I'm making it exact. String and slime ball. You lost your you lost your pink slime privileges. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but I kept asking for it and you decided to play this this silly game. Infinite storage part requires. And now it's asking for you, you matter, because that's what we were using to make uh slime. Okay. Okay, we got a funny guy, huh? We got a funny guy. Let's um let's just get rid of that recipe. That's not not even needed. Um, okay. Infinite storage part. What do you need? You need 40, 44,000 slime balls and 74,000 string. Thank you for being honest. And now you need more redstone. That's that's even better. That's awesome. Okay, let me go to the B area. Um, put in the slimy honeycomb to get processed so that we can actually get our slime balls. That'll be at least one thing off the list. So I'm simply going to add them in here. This guy's going to completely fill up with them. And we've now got slime. So that's awesome. Um, okay. Does anyone remember what we were doing? I think we were just waiting on an infinite um, storage doohickey, right? An infinite fluid doohickey. Which is not wanting... I, I mean, teleporting through these guys when the server's a bit laggy is horrendous. What's happening here? Crafting, processing. Can we cancel that? <laughs> I don't know what's going on. Um, this guy's apparently struggling as well. He should be done. This guy, what's happening? What are we waiting on? Pink slime. Cancel. Stop. Please. For the love of God, stop. Infinite fluid storage. Now it's just going to use slime balls. Thank, thank everyone. My God, this should be so much faster now. Look, oh my God, it crafts all the bindings instantly. Everything is just getting crafted. And then all that's left is smelting. And the smelting part is so quick and easy. So quick and easy. Why is it quick and easy? Because we've literally, we've optimized it. It's phenomenal. Someone also told me, by the way, while we're on the topic of things, uh... Apparently not working. Um, the jumbo furnace, so that three by three by three furnace, um, can smelt compressed stone, compressed cobble. This guy, um, yeah, should be doing like everything. All right, so I kind of want to myth bust this real quick. So I'm gonna quickly make a three by three by three furnace um, because that's how you make these jumbo furnaces. They they're pretty cool, but they're not really worth doing. Like even if you only have access to this. Um, even if you, like, don't even have the crazy furnaces, it's just not that phenomenal. But uh, unless this works, I can apparently put in compressed cobble, and it will smelt it. Okay, okay. I I like the look of that. I want to see if this compressed cobble times uh, two times works, and then I want to order a bunch of different cobbles um, compressed to see if they work, assuming this one works. Because if that's the case... We can make the compressed stone needed for the dimensional shard that we've already got one, but for the future, we can make that so much faster. Let's place this in. Oh my god, what? Hold up, hold up. This is. Oh my god. This would just make stone faster as well, because we can make a super compressed stone and then uncompress it. Oh my god. Hold on. Um, We need recipes for cobble. Oh, what the? Uh, hello? Um, we, what? Oh, I despise lag. <laughs> I hate it. Um, cobble compressed. I'm going to get a nine times here. And I'm going to just get every single pattern needed for this. Um, exact shouldn't matter, but I'm just going to get rid of it. Just to be sure. Okay. I have them all here. In they go. I should now be able to look at this cobble. Can we, first off, can we make a nine times? No. Can we make an eight times? Yes. I'm going to craft one. Let's um let's see how long this is gonna take. <laughs> that is ridiculous. Once again, if you're in single player, feel free to use a creative crafter, but also make sure you make a backup because the crafter will craft this instantly, which, as you can possibly guess, isn't always the greatest for um for your world or just your game in general. This is that is taking a long time. Oh my. All right, we'll we'll leave that for now. But remind me to check that later to see if we can smelt that because that sounds ridiculous. Like. This one right here, smelted two times compressed stone in one go. That is amazing. That is genuinely amazing. Um, okay. Okay. <laughs> oh, the elevator. What, what were we doing? 
we were trying to get this stuff working, right? The potions. And then what happened? Because we got distracted, but I don't... I don't recall what... Oh, yeah, the infinite story... The infinite fluid. I keep forgetting. Here it is. It's done. Infinite fluid. Um, we want to combine this guy with, I guess, all this stuff. All right, here we go. Infinite fluid storage disk. This guy is going to make its way over to Fluid Town. All right, it's going to come over here. And honestly, we're just going to chuck it in here. We're going to change this to fluids. This should now store infinite fluids. That's... That should be how it works. We should now have infinite fluid storage capability. Um, okay, beautiful. We're, we're done here. We can go back. All right, so what that means is, I believe, if we go ahead and grab some of these cables and we bring them along here, um, we should be able to get importers. Um, importer. Da, da, da. Um, we'll get some ultra ones. We'll get, we'll get three ultra ones and slap them down here. We should be able to put any fluid into our network. It shouldn't matter. So, so we, we don't have to worry about that anymore. So we can do this, this, and this. They'll get, they'll import the fluids into our network, assuming I change it to fluids. Change those. Um, we're also going to have to configure these so that the top is an item input, or, you know, just an input, and then the front. Ooh, that's not a thing. <sighs> okay, that, you, you know what? That, that's fine. That, that's a lot better than it might seem. We can run the cables like this, and then have the importers just on the side there. That That's fine. There's there's no harm done there. We will have to configure them again to be fluids, but then what we'll do is we will have the right side be output. Um, we can do auto output and input. It honestly shouldn't matter, um, but it looks... Oh, yeah, there we go. Yeah, that, that should be fine. I'll configure the rest of these. Or I guess just the second one, because the, the third... Well, honestly, it should just be the first one. Because that's the only one we've got recipes in at the moment. So we should be able to give this a shot already. Um, did I place the pattern in the encapsulator? I think I did. Okay. L let's double check. So currently we're not encapsulating anything, right? I don't think so. Unless we're encapsulating honey. Possibly. Let's click cancel. Does that do anything? Brings it back. Let me, let me go double check that. Uh, yeah. Currently we're making honey. Um, hmm. Is this a problem? Possibly. Because the reason it, the, the reason why this is a problem is while this is doing something, it can't do what I want it to do. You know what I mean? I, I think it's fine now, though. Let's search knowledge. Let's, let's try and craft three of these. Missing potion. You are a liar. You are a blatant liar. Oh, that is annoying. That is really annoying. Um, okay. What if I... Well, actually, yeah. Knowledge should show... What if we search awkward? Does this give us the liquid? No, it doesn't. What if I go into here? Okay, but Potion of Ancient Knowledge. Okay, so it's one of these. Let's craft one. To craft Potion of Ancient Knowledge. Okay, what about this one? Yes, this uses two. Okay, I'm going to click Start. We're going to see if that works. Uh, oh, I've got to run back and forth. That's so annoying. All right, so this guy's on. He's working. I'm going to go ahead and get some um, upgrades for this guy. So the same as we always do. Okay, so now we have Potion of Ancient Knowledge in this pattern. It, it exists. It's in there. How do we get it from inside here to inside here? Ideally, via a pattern. Um, I'm going to be honest. I don't know. I, d I don't know how to get this into a pattern. Because Potion of Ancient Knowledge, despite being a liquid here, I don't know how to get it to show up, Potion of Ancient, in here as a liquid. It doesn't show up. Um, is there a hashtag? Can I do like potion? I wonder if it's even in the settings, which I don't even know how to open at the moment. Are they here? They are. Um, so yeah, I mean, we look through here: resource ID, color, creative tab, tag, tooltip, mod name. I, I don't know. I don't know. All right. So, so here's part of my issue. Part of my issue is, despite being connected to the network. I can't, I can't find these liquids within the pattern grid. As far as I can tell, I've had a look through here. I don't know how to do it. Like we've got it on fluid mode and yet items still show up and changing this only changes what shows up in the grid here. I, I feel like if I could search for fluids in here, that would make my life so much better, but it doesn't appear to be a thing. Display mode, no craftables, only craftables, normal. So it doesn't filter to liquids. 
I I don't know what to do. I don't know how to get this to be the liquid I need. The only way that I can think of to do this is to rework how we've done it. Um, let me take this pattern. Um, yeah. Uh, can I bring this stuff with me? Do you think? I think I can. I'm gonna I'm gonna bring all this with me. All right. The fluid encapsulator is joining us right here. He's going to get a crafter onto... I guess he can use a diamond crafter, although let's be honest, it doesn't really matter. Um, and he will get all of his ingredients like so. And now he's good. He's... Uh, well, he does need power. Um, and he'll also need to be reconfigured, which I have done already. Okay. He's good. Beautiful. That guy's working again. Um, what we're going to have to do here is not put things into our network. Because clearly that doesn't work. So sadly, what that means is when we request something, it is going to go into this first guy here. So what we should be able to do is... Uh, how's that going to work, though? Oh, that's really annoying. Um, uh, You know what? I think I think it still works having two of these. So that's going to be awkward. Potion knowledge, other potion. Um, I will need another entangled block here. Um, Just the one. We're going to have to entangle it up. Uh, it, I, I know what to do in my head, I think. So, it, it's, we're not going into this completely blind. How long has this episode been? It's been like an hour. Of course it has. <laughs> um, okay. We'll, we'll try and do this quick. So, we're going to entangle this last guy. Um, we're going to have to rework most of these patterns. Well, the first pattern, right? The nether wart plus bucket of water equals awkward potion. That goes in there. That's going to make an awkward potion. Perfect. The next recipe is going to be... Um, the bottle of enchanting plus all these awkward potions equals a potion of ancient knowledge. But guess what? What we're going to do is we're going to just get rid of this and get rid of that, I think. Uh, but then it doesn't make an output. Um, oh, that yeah, that doesn't work. Okay, you know what? Bottle of enchanting times two equals... You ready for this? It's going to equal ancient um, knowledge two bottle. One of them. No liquids involved. Okay. Um, I think this works. I'm going to have to change this into pipe mode. Okay. So what's going to happen is this second guy here is going to get two bottle of enchantings. They're going to be spat out. Um, well, at the moment, they're going to be spat out here, but I want to change that into a chest. And grab a chest. I'm going to also just place this um, here. The chest there, okay? You guys following? I hope you're following. We're going to re-entangle this chest into this guy. So it's going to put two bottles, bottles of enchanting in here. Then they are both going to go like so. We're going to open this guy up, make sure that he is um, inserting from the top. Inserting from the top. This is going to be an extract. It is, however, going to require a pipe upgrade. I'm going to grab a pipe upgrade. We can grab a, you know, another right one. That's fine. But it is going to be set to round robin. So it will put one bottle in here, then one in there. See where this is going? The next thing we're going to do is also make the left be an input for both of these. And then the right is going to still be an output. Like that. Um, da -da -da, like that. Now, we could put these right next to each other, but I think it's fine how it is at the moment. Um, what I'm going to need to do now is actually get uh, a fluid pipe. Like so. We're going to have to make this guy extract. He doesn't need any speed. He, he can just go at whatever tempo he wants. Then we're going to get an ultra importer. Uh, no, we're not. Hold up. What we're going to do is we're going to need another fluid encapsulator. Fluid encapsulator. Another one of these guys. Luckily, we can craft pretty much all of it. All right. He's going to go right here. So right next to it. He's going to have auto input from the left. So that should put in the fluids. Then we are going to have, at the front here, an exporter, constantly exporting um, bottles. Where are we? Um, we just want a normal glass bottle. Is that what this is? No, this is a normal glass bottle. Glass bottle's there. So he's going to get glass bottles from... Oh, no, he can't insert from the front. That's annoying. Um, from there. Uh, it's, it's getting a little bit ugly, but it, I think it's fine. We could also just move it over one. Mm, no, but then we can't get to it easily. It, this works, this works. Remain calm. <laughs> glass bottle goes there. Insert from the top. Glass bottles come in. 
Beautiful. So far, so good. We're going to provide him with power. Nice. Okay. So, so far, what this should do, as far as I'm aware, is put in all the ingredients for an awkward potion. The awkward potion will be spat out. This will have an enchanted bottle, which will make a potion of knowledge one. This will then turn into a potion of knowledge two, which will then go in here and be bottled. That is what should happen. And then we get our ultra exporter. We slap down a cable here. Bada bing, bada boom. Everything works flawlessly. It's amazing. Everyone cheers. Okay. That's what should happen. What we're going to need are a bunch of... Oh, we're going to need our search bar to work. We're going to need a bunch of... Oh my God. Why is... What is happening? Why is my like search bar laggy now? <laughs> we're going to need like three of these. And then... um, Where are we? A bunch of these. And I'll also put a crafting card that I grab. Yeah, a crafting card in here. We only need one. Uh, just to make sure that we have enough. So that should be good. Ooh, okay. I think we're ready to give it a shot. I, I think we can give it a shot. And it turns out this guy wasn't actually needed. So, so that's fine. It, it now no longer looks a little bit awkward. Um, so oh, this guy should probably also be configured. Like so. Should be good. He's, he's got his power. That's all fine. All right, we don't have the speed uh, upgrades yet. They're, they're on their way, but they're, they're taking their time, to say the least. I'm going to search Potion of Ancient Knowledge. I'm going to try and craft one. Here we go. So, first things first, let's see. <laughs> Not looking too good. <laughs> well, actually, hey, look. The bottles of enchanting have showed up. Oh, but the issue is... Oh, hold on, hold on. Okay, okay, we, we can fix this. Um, I, I know what's happened. So, this recipe here... Oh, yeah, it's gonna, we're gonna say that it requires as an ingredient. So what, 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 what are we doing? This guy here. We're gonna say as an ingredient here, it requires an awkward potion liquid, which we can't do. Why can't we do it? Um, hmm. Hold on, but this guy says it has an awkward potion as an output. Okay, okay, I, I know what to do. Um, so we have the same recipe in here, which is apparently not working. Why are you not working? Oh, because we're on fluid mode, that's fine. What I want to do is get the recipe for the normal knowledge, which uses an ancient potion. Oh, but why does it say this in the recipe? Let's, um, we, we can do this. Hold on. I know what to do. We, we've got this. This is a confusing way to do it because JEI isn't properly implemented for it yet, but we can still make it work. This recipe here, we're going to click paste. What that does is it puts in Awkward Potion as an ingredient. That is all we want. Awkward Potion right there. Wonderful. The next thing we need to do is increase this to, honestly, I think, 8. As odd as that may sound, 8? Um, yes. And I'll tell you why. When we make, and, and then we output this as um, Ancient Knowledge Potion, and it's going to be four of them. We need to make four at a time, I believe. Why did you not update to four? Four. <laughs> I'm being trolled. Why is it not updating to four? Am I missing something? <laughs> Hello? What is it? Why? 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 You know what? It's fine. It's fine. It is fine. It, is, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. But it's going to make four. And because we're outputting with um, this guy, the extra three that we can't put in the recipe for whatever reason, will end up there anyway. So, so let me let me explain the issue. Um, this this guy makes one thousand mil buckets, so he makes a bucket worth one thousand mil buckets. The reason why that's a problem is turning these back into an actual potion in a bottle only uses two hundred and fifty. So that means we we have the value of four, but we can only we're only trying to make one. So we need to have four as the output. Does that make sense? Hopefully it does. By adding awkward potion to an ingredient here, what that will do is it will trigger this first step, which is that important one that um, actually starts off the potion. So now, if I search ancient, we can put these other bottles away, I should be able to craft one. And it's going to craft four, but it won't tell me. So we, we click start. Now the water goes in. Water's in there. It makes the first potion. Then we have awkward potion in here. Not a single... Why? 
Why isn't there a single item? There's no excuse. <laughs> Where are my bottles of enchanting? You know, oh, you know what the problem is? Oh my god. The problem is, it's waiting to receive that awkward potion before it starts this next step. So do you know what I think could actually happen here? Hold on. I think what we can do is we can... <sighs> I'm going to have to pick this guy up and place him back down. We're probably going to have to restart this recipe because I think what I want to do here is actually get a... Um... Da -da -da -da. Oh, they've really made this so annoying. You know, I was hoping to have it so that this recipe, th this system could do multiple recipes. Because that would be, that, the whole point of this, oh, that's so annoying. Oh, I've just had the realization. The whole point of trying out this fluid encapsulator, or, f or uh, sorry, alchemical imbuer, was that I thought it would let us automate every single potion. Because it should. And it would, if we could put the potions in the recipes. A lot more reliably. Um, oh, you know what? Oh, God. It just clicked in my head, I think. Oh, no. Oh, no, oh, no, oh, no. I think... Ooh. Wait. No. Wait. Wait. No. I was saying, could we possibly use a recipe in here that uses the um, ancient knowledge as an ingredient? Because that's obviously what we need. All we need is for this ancient um, knowledge to be an ingredient. But we need the number two to be an ingredient. So it, it just it doesn't work. That's exhausting. That's painful. So in an attempt to make it work for every recipe, we've essentially done, in this massive system, you see what we did down here <laughs> with this one machine. Uh, okay. Uh, what's the point of this again? You might be wondering. We just wanted to, we just wanted to do some of these recipes. Um, what are we doing here? What, what what do we need? Um. Hmm. You know. Uh, okay. Okay. Stop for a second. It can work. It can work. I've cracked the code again. We're gonna grab this recipe here, open it up, place it back in, and we're gonna change it. Um. It is going to remain almost the same, except this is going to go down to four. This is going to be the liquid. Oh, which we can't put in. Ah, uh, we can put in. Oh, we can't put in. We can put in. We can't put in. We can put in. We can put in. <laughs> okay, okay. Hold on, hold on. Hopefully, I hope you guys are holding on. What we're going to do is our chemical and viewer. We've got to toggle through here because we can't search for the liquid ourselves. Okay, I hope you're holding on. We are going to get this recipe here. Which has the fluid as the output. We're going to change this to be... I think the same, actually. We're going to update that. Okay. <laughs> and then, what we're going to do is we are going to get um, the next recipe. Okay. We're getting there. It's painful. I, I agree. It's painful, but we'll, we'll get there. We're going to chuck in this guy. No, we're going to... Oh my god, I hate that it updates. Alright, we're going to chuck in this pattern, which is going to use... The Potion of Ancient Knowledge, plus an Ancient Bottle of Enchanting, to make it Potion of Ancient Knowledge like that. Okay? But instead of making a Potion of Ancient Knowledge, it is going to make the full thing. Uh, the full thing. It's gonna... It's gonna make the full thing. Time... I, I guess it doesn't matter. Boom. There we go. Okay. So, were you following along? I hope you were. <laughs> okay, so here we go. We're gonna need another crafter as well. Um, just a normal one, sure, why not? It, it honestly, it does not matter. This guy is getting, um, Bottle of Enchanting, plus the Potion, equals the Potion. Okay, equals the Potion number two. This guy is getting Bottle of Enchanting, plus Awkward Potion, equals just the Ancient Potion Knowledge one. And this guy has the recipe to make the Awkward Potion. What we are then going to do, is make sure we update these guys to have, um, to go into our network. In Fluid Mode, you might think that we've done this before, and it's because we have. We're going to get rid of this stuff. It's useless. It, it means nothing to us. We're going to break this. We're going to have the importer there. Okay. And this works. This works. Well, let me just show you it in action. Let's uh, make sure we cancel any of these recipes. They're useless to us. 
Um, are these all empty? Uh, I want to make sure there's no, no, nothing wrong going on here. I've also got a bunch of our thermal upgrades that, oh, why does it stop? Whoa, I'm going to, I'm going to scream. Why does it, why does it deselect it? I, I think it's because we're lagging, but that is a bad excuse. <laughs> I'm losing my mind. Okay, 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 okay. Remain calm. What we're going to do is search for our ancient potion. <laughs> I swear, these episodes have been, like, way longer than they had to be because the thing that we try to do just refuses to work the way that you think it would. Alright, let's click Start. Okay. As you see, the first potion is made. As you see, the second potion is made. As you see... As you see... Potion of Ancient Knowledge outputs to the right, and we have this guy. He, he, he's not set to fluids. Now he's set to fluids. And now it's working. <gasps> and then. Oh. Oh. Ladies and gentlemen. Four potions of ancient knowledge, which can be crafted into the charm of knowledge, which I don't even know what this potion does. Let's search hashtag knowledge. Um, does it tell me anywhere? I've just realized because it's a potion source, it doesn't actually tell me what it does. Does it tell me anywhere? Does it tell me in this? Nope. Does it tell me in this? No, it doesn't. Let me know what the potion of ancient knowledge does, because I've got the charm here. I can turn it on. I'm now knowledgeable. Maybe I get more XP or something. Oh, did I just break it by having the durability go down? Possibly. Um... We'll just, we'll just make another one. We'll make another one. Um, yeah. We'll make another one. Who cares? Who cares? We make these all the time. Oh, it's not really doing what it's meant to do. Okay. Um, we'll make another one. We won't use it this time for the durability. And then we want to get our improbable... <laughs> our improbable probability device. Which we can't even afford because we need a billion nether quartz. Because the recipe itself requires... Uh, 1,048 million storage part. Okay. You know, I, I'm glad that we've learned this. Once again, genuinely, if, you, if you're watching at home, if you're sitting there watching at home, here's what we've learned. I think this still can be used to automate multiple potions. I think it can be done quite easily. Let's let's do a test run, because I, I think that we've actually worked it out, and if we've worked it out, it's going to save us a lot of time in the future for any other potion that we ever need. So, what potion do we want to try? Let's do a potion of fire resistance. Um, let's do an elonged one. So, so, oh. um, so, so, let's do the one that has eight minutes worth, okay? What we're going to need to do <laughs> is find the potion in here. So, wait, wait, hold on. What does the potion need? It needs an awkward potion. Okay. We've already got awkward potions uh, made, so, so, so that's fine. Next, we're going to need to hunt it down, the potion of fire resistance, just the first step. So we're going to have to go through here, and here it is. Here it is, potion of fire resistance. It's made with a magma cream. Is that the only way to do it? Okay. We're going to press this recipe here. That's going to put awkward potion in, potion of fire resistance out, using a magma cream. Perfect. We'll grab it. Oh, we've got some patterns on us. Let's um, chuck them in there. Here we go. So that's one, one part done. The next part, we need to go right back to that page and we need to get the redstone one. So this guy here. Once again, we can put a potion in. Or, or a pattern in, sorry. Entangle that. Or what would you say? Encode that. Then what we need to do is get one last... Well, actually, wait, wait. We can place this guy back in. And instead of having potion of fire resistance eight minutes as the output, we remove that and we replace it with the fire resistance potion eight minutes as a as an actual potion like that. Beautiful. Then we go ahead and place this guy in here. So that's for the fire resistance. And then the last one over here, which is for the um the fire resistance eight minutes. That works. That that should just work. Assuming we have magma cream. We do. We have one thousand. Perfect. Um fire resistance. Let's give it a shot. This is for the eight minutes fire resistance. As we can see. The first one crafts, the awkward potion. As you can see, the fire resistance crafts. And then as you can see, the eight minutes is applied. And then as you can see, it just outputs. 
How amazing is that? It, it took us a while. I honestly thought that it might not even be doable, but look at this. How awesome is that? We can create every single recipe we need through this pattern here and this pattern here, or crafter or whatever. That's awesome. Okay, I, I, I genuinely, for a, for, a few, for a hot few minutes there, I thought that we'd uh, essentially just recreated this guy down here. Um, which I'm sure, honestly, you can probably automate this with a crafter as well to do every single recipe. I'll be honest. I'll be completely honest. You probably can. Uh, you probably can. But to that, what I say is, um, this is pretty fast. It doesn't take too long. I imagine as well, you can probably auto craft this guy. Um, he can probably be fast if I put in the upgrades. Oh, what, what are we crafting at the moment in that anyway? Are we crafting swiftness potions? We have 37,000. What are you doing? What, what are you doing? You need to stop. You need to only run with a redstone signal. You just need to stop. Okay. I, you, you know what? I was a bit doubtful at the start, but I'm, I'm happy we got here. So, in the next episode, we need to finally take care of our string problem. We do have a B to do it, but the B is not fast enough, so we need some alternatives. Um, we'll figure something out. We also need to get quartz set up, which means we need to figure out what exact color lens, I'm assuming maybe just white lens, um, will actually make us get more quartz from our void miner. And then we can finally get <laughs> that infinite storage part we keep talking about. <sighs> so yeah, thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed. Um, oh, I almost did the outro, but we got to go thank our uh, financial supporters for the channel. Um, they're helping us. They're helping us continue to do our thing. Oh, PP up butthole. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yep. Sure. Um. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you to Oracle, Skeletal Jacob, Oasis, Derpy Snow Luna, Mugs, and VRifty supporting the channel financially through um the donation links over on Discord. And then thank you to Tacoolist, VRifty, and Mugs who are channel members here on uh YouTube. Um, so thank you guys. I'm, I'm trying to put stuff away, but my inventory is being very annoying. Um, yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm actually happy. I, I'm happy. I, 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 I'm, I'm sure you could probably tell by the tone of my voice that it was dropping down. Like <laughs> I was a little bit upset once I realized what I thought we had done, or I guess what I thought I realized. Um, but I, I'm happy now. I'm happy that it actually it works. It does what it's meant to do. Um, I'm also l let me just say real quick before we wrap up, I'm liking that we've got a few buildings around here, like. The fact that we actually have zones around this area. I think what I definitely need to do. We, we need a portal over there for one. Um, but I also want to build a structure around this guy. Or, or at least some sort of environment around it. Because it kind of it looks a bit ugly right there. Um, and then there's a few other spots that probably need some buildings as well. Like we need a second floor on that guy too. I, I like the idea of a big tower. A big industrial uh, factory. So we'll probably do that. Uh, but yeah. I'm, I'm quite liking it. My personal favourite. Genuinely. Is this dome we have? This little alleyway leading to each themed place. I think it's really neat. I think it's pretty cool. I, 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 I quite like it. Um, so yeah, thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. And hopefully I will see you guys in the next one. And hopefully this video had sound. And hopefully it's at 1080p. Because we've been having some video issues when I've been uploading recently. But it should be good. Alright, goodbye.